All right, here we go. This is the video time here. Uh, we got the relationship police hound today. This is a lot of guys out there don't know this about women. First of all, welcome to the channel. It's Duran Rider Harley, aka Harley Johnstone here. A lot of experience with women. Just Google me up. Look at the the, the I've got documentaries about me made by the boyfriend of the girl I gave her first G spot orgasm to with my girth. Okay, so. I'm talking straight up in personal experience. I used to be the virgin boy, had no, you know what I mean? <laughs> no one was making documentaries about me when I was a virgin boy, all right? <laughs> and then I got a bit of a fame, a bit of game. Chicks started jumping in my hotel room window and, uh, you know, with boyfriends, etc., who are away. You know, it, shit goes, it gets real out there. So I like to tell people, guys and women out there, right? There's so much agenda out there, isn't there? It seems like they're pushing men against women, and women going, yeah, and the men go, yeah, and it's just like this division, you know, which, you know, people are organizing that, create division, divide and conquer. So this video's goal is, uh, I like to have a bit of drama in my language and I like to swear a bit, keep it real, keep it Aussie Bogan style. It helps you to audience attention. But bottom line, I want to help people. I want to help guys, I want to help women. All right, so this is, this video is more uh, ta uh, targeted, aimed at men, but women, you're still probably feel like it's interesting. Um, Guys, what you got to understand about women, it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing, it's just an is thing. Just like this hat's blue, it's not good or bad, it's blue, I think it says police on there, okay? Like, it's just, it's okay. And uh, women don't care about your feelings, all right? They don't care about your struggles. They just don't care. Not even your mum really cares. If you're a, and this isn't, no, again, it's no hate. Oh, you're so misogynist. There's no misogyny here, all right? There's no misogyny, no misandry here. This is just fucking facts. So guys can go, ah, oh, I can relax now. I don't have to have hatred for women because she burnt me or she was cold or mean. That's just how women are. There's no such thing as relationship equity, all right? Your mum, she loves you out of obligation, out of what she wants you to be like, okay? That's the closest thing you get to unconditional love. Men and women love differently. Feminine men Love different than masculine men, all right? So it's 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 the feminine is flaky, it's up and down, it's hot and cold, it's like the weather, it's like changes its mind, it just spins around, it's just it's like air, it's just water. And these things are feminine. The masculine contains things like rock, it just poof, doesn't un, un unmovable, all right? Strength, things like that. The feminine is the opposite of that, all right? So the feminine wants you to be strong, wants you to get your shit together, all right? When you're a kid and you fall over. Mum's like, come on, be a bigger big boy, get up and get going, all right? And that's what you got to do as a man. Some people call it toxic masculinity, but <laughs> hey, how hard? Do you want to put life on hard mode? If you want to put life on hard mode, expect women to really care about your feelings and struggles and stuff, all right? Women don't care about that stuff unless it affects them. Lost your job? I don't give a fuck. Oh, we can't pay rent. Oh my God, we can't pay rent. Oh, I'm going to get, get a new job. You know <laughs> You know, like, women don't care about that, okay? Unless it affects them, okay? It's just how it is, people out there. Guys don't... So, when it, when you realize what a woman's like, or what a man's like, and you get crazy about it, that's on you, okay? So, a lot of guys, they go even go gay, they just, I can't deal with chicks, I'll get so disappointed, I've got this trauma from my mum banning me, blah, 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 just, you know? So, they go for the fellas or whatever, okay? Whatever, you know? But I'm just saying that this is how all women are. All women are like this. They don't care about your struggles. They don't care about your feelings. They don't want to see you crying and being vulnerable. Oh no, I, I like guys who cry and be vulnerable. Yeah, so you can weaponize that shit against them when they piss you off later on. You know what I mean? How many times, guys, if you know, you know, where you've, been, you've opened up, you've been vulnerable, you've shared your, your true thoughts and feelings. She's like, oh wow, really cool. And then later on, next week, an hour later, 20 years down the track, <laughs> Cancelled, weaponized against you the truth of vulnerabilities and twist it out in context to make you look really bad and weak or whatever. That's just yes, you know, the nature of things. All right. So you know it's just it's just how it is. Just like women are like cats. All right, they're they're very anxious and come and go and change their mind and purr one minute, claw the next. And they like, they like to play with their prey. All right. You think, man, cats are cruel. No, the cats are cats. Cats are cats. All right. Women are women. Feminine men are feminine men. Okay, it's just it's how they how they roll, you know. 
Don't have, don't hate the, don't hate it, man. Just understand it. Just, it is what it is. All right. Too much sun will give you sunburn. All right. Too much sun will give me sunburn. So I don't hate the sun. I use the sun. Okay. Don't hate the women. Use the women. That sounds wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Like use thing, use the things for their goodness. Okay. Use this. Don't hate the sun. Use it for its goodness. Don't hate women. Use it for their goodness. Okay. A quality woman will bring peace to your life. All right. She'll give you comfort, etc. Okay. But it's all conditional. All women care about. All women care about is how you make them feel and what can you provide for them. Do you have girth in your pants and in your pocket? Do you know how to use it? Are you emotionally stable? Are you in shape? Are you over six foot? All right. I don't make the rules, guys. All right. Or you taller than her. Okay. This is just how it is. We're like, no, that's not true, Harley. That's not true. Like. You know, and I'm like, well, when's the last time you dated a guy who's five foot two? Oh, I would. I just haven't. Don't listen to what they say. <laughs> well, observe what they say, but really focus on what they do. Okay? Observe what's said and focus on what's done. Okay? Then you'll know the truth. Right? The words often very different actions. That says, and again, don't be out there to go punish honesty. Just go, oh, yeah, okay. Just observe with amusement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pass the shit test of amusement. What's a shit test? A shit test is what a girl, all women do this forever. They do it to the sons, they do it to the workmates, they do it to the boyfriends, the fuck, they do it to everyone, the beaters, all being beaters, the fuck, they just shit test everyone at some point. Just see what, you, see what you're about. See what, how much of a man you really are. You're going to pass the shit test, you're going to lose your shit, and blah, blah, have drama, blah, blah, oh, I love this drama. What are you going to do? Right? Just gonna have, you just pass every shit test of amusement. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, cool. You know? I don't date guys old enough to be my dad. Oh, really? Well, maybe you should try, you know? You know, like, just whatever. Or you're in a relationship. You're oh, fucking, you don't know. Blah, blah, blah. You, d you don't get into that frame and argue and get all, you know, you never, ever let a woman's <laughs> frame, drama, whatever, control your frame. Been there, done that. That's the dumbest thing ever. Women don't want you to do that. Women want you to lead, all right? Women want you to lead. They don't want you to force them. They want you to lead them. There's a big difference between forcing someone and leading someone, all right? You want to be a leader, not a forcer, okay? If you have to force her, she ain't the chick for you. Next. Next her, okay? You shouldn't be forcing anyone. You should be leading those who want to be led. See that? Big difference there? Never force anyone, all right? No, don't force women in your life. Leave them be. Leave them be. Lead the women who want to be led by someone like you because she has goals and aspirations that you can help her with. Let If you have to force her to eat better or lose weight or do whatever, be more feminine, don't, no, no, no. Let her go. Let her go. Let someone else do that. Lead. There's millions of women out there, okay? Millions, okay? Uh, billions, I should say. So it's like, and there'd be millions for most guys out there, okay? It's, it's just like, if you have watched this part of the video as a guy, there's millions of women out there who would like a guy like you who's into self-improvement and self-help and getting becoming a better person. There's literally millions of women out there who go, wow, you got a decent personality. You want to improve yourself. Tell me more. Women are attracted to your personality, your character, what you can provide for them, you know, how you're going to make them feel. But the, the character personality is fucking huge. Because you can be a really hot dude but you're boring as fuck because your personality is just so fake and shiny. And we'll be like, hey, you're pretty hot, but the lust is wearing off and I'm bored. And if she's bored, she goes somewhere else. All right? Women hate being bored. Right? They want to be entertained virtually nonstop. Okay? That's what they're used to. All women, grandmas, young ones, whatever. Okay? They love it. They love it. They love masculine presence. So, guys, women don't care about your struggles. All right? Stop feeling unloved. Because women, it's like, oh, just, they move on so quick, okay? There's no such thing as relationship equity. It's all about what you can provide and how you make them feel. If you make them feel pissed off, bad enough, that you, you could be dedicated partner for 40 years. That's gone in a second. In, a, in a minutes, I should say. Or seconds, all right? Literally, there's no such thing as relationship equity. She doesn't care about all the sacrifices you made for her. <laughs> and the kids or whatever. You don't care about that. If you piss her off, it's game over. All right? There's, in France, paternity tests are banned. 
What's a paternity test? Paternity test is where you test if it's your kid. So yeah, with a woman, baby comes out. Oh, I'm not sure it's mine. Let's do a paternity test. That's banned in France. All right. Why? Because it caused too much upheaval. That's the level out there. Women do what the fuck they want. All right. Women do what they want. Women are like cats. Cats do what they want, like pigeons. There's pigeons coming here no matter what I do. Have the door open, it's coming in here. <laughs> it's like women do what they want in life, guys. Right? If they want to have the baby, they'll have the baby with you or someone else or whatever. Or they'll say it's yours or his or whatever. You know? it's, 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 that's the nature of the feminine. Okay? Don't hate it. Embrace it. Understand it. Roll with it, man. Roll with her moods versus trying to fight them. And if they're too much, let her roll with someone else. Okay, roll away from her. Let her roll away. Like, it's just, but don't take things personally, guys. So many guys take things personally with women. I mean, I've been there, done that, for sure. Every guy has. And I realize, hang on, why am I letting her lead my mental thoughts, my frame? No, 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 fuck that. Never let her make the rules. If you let her make the rules for your life, you're, gonna, you're fucked. You're going to present dudes like me who make the rules and lead women who love my rules, Okay. If she doesn't like your rules, that's okay. Let her go. Let her be. There's millions of women out there. There's millions of women out there for guys just like you who've watched into this. 100% there is. Because your personality of self-improvement, of depth, is so much higher. And women value guys who have depth. What does depth mean? Personality, character. You know, inquisitive, passionate, drive, motivated. Women love guys like that. There's guys out there who have fucking one eyes for chicks. It's like... Oh my God, the, the chick feels that. She's disgusted by that. But rather than being alone, she will be with you until someone else comes along who's a better match and she'll monkey from match to that. Because women would rather be with a you know, half okay guy than no one at all. It's, it's, it's just nature, it's safety. But women are hardwired to be that because in the jungle by yourself, it'd be a dangerous place out there. And we all have the same, that primal DNA. So those things roll around like that. And you can say I'm wrong or whatever. But I don't make the rules. This is just these are just social facts. I'm not saying they're good or bad. They just you got to understand them so you don't take it personally. Stop taking things personally. All right? Mosquitoes bite you. Don't take it personally. Oh, the mosquito on you! Yeah, he's trying to punch in the wall. He's trying to catch this mosquito. It's a fucking mozzie, mate. Swat it, whatever. Let it go. Just move on. Just don't get emotional about it. Women don't care about your thought, your feelings. All right? Your thoughts and feelings don't matter to them. All that matters to them is how they feel. Okay, it's not good or bad. How do I feel? How do you make me feel? How are you going to make me feel? What can you provide me? All the women in my life? That's the two questions they've asked. What can Harley provide me? How is he going to make me feel? Simple as that. What's the girth like? What's the wallet like? What's the game like? Gonna make me feel good? Gonna make me come? What, what's the deal? Okay, yes, sign me up. Okay? Simple as that. That's why guys are like, hang on, you're just like skinny, crackhead fucking sleazy, creepy, shady guy on Google, blah, 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 and you got these fucking you know, hot women in your life for the last decade. I've got your channel every year or whatever, a few years you got a new girl or whatever. How do you get that? It's bullshit. I'm better looking than you, Harley. I've got more muscle than you. I'm better. I'm younger. Yeah, you, you, and you are. Okay? <laughs> but you don't have my level of game. You can't provide what I can provide for these women. That's why they look at you and they're like, wow, he's hot, but eh, how's he making me feel? It makes me feel lusty looking at him, but that's going to wear off pretty quick. You know, he ain't gonna pass my shit test. Oh, now I feel bored. Oh, he's, he's just a prima donna. He's feminine like me, I don't want that. You know? So your personality is something you wanna update all the time. Just like you update, we update our phones, the apps and our phones, update that shit all the time. Learn about shit tests. You know, and learn that women don't understand, women don't care about your thoughts and feelings. And it's not, people go, they're going, they go, I'm going red pill, I'm going MGTOW. And there's some virtues in some of these things out there, but a lot of these guys are just bitter primarily because they, they, they realize that women just do not give a fuck about how you feel. They do not give a fuck. Like there's guys in prison right now because they, the, the girl and the guy had sex, consensual sex. She felt pumped to dump. She's like, actually, I didn't consent. That was right. And he's getting 20, 30, 40, whatever years or spends millions of dollars on a trial or whatever. She don't care. She's like, well, you pissed me off. You deserve it. You deserve it. You know? <laughs> How many times have you had a woman in your life say, you deserve to die. I hope you get you, blah, blah, blah. How many times have you had, had to heard that? You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Okay? That's, don't take it personal. That's how they felt. 
and they might have met it in the moment or whatever, but it's like that's just that's just the women, right? Don't a lot of guys they just can't handle that. Women just women feel this rage and they just go with it. Us guys, we oh, even a masculine man feels the rage, goes, Well, that's a dumb me to think that. Let's just control that rage and breathe it out, go punch a bag or whatever. I was going out from prison doing silly shit, you know, feminine men getting the shit, women getting the shit, masculine guys, sigma, step back, breathe in. Mm. Let's just calm down a bit. But women feel this shit. That's what they oh, volcano that shit up. Right? Go on YouTube, have a look. So that's where you, when you're trying to get a woman to think like a man logically and rationally, I mean, they're capable of doing that and you have to teach them that if they want to be led like that. But there's always going to be the flare-ups. There's always going to be the flare-ups, okay? Now, it comes down to you how much flare-ups you're going to tolerate. There's millions of women out there, all right? There's, there's literally millions of women out there for you, for me, all right? 100%, okay? 100%. So when you have that level of frame, you can either become a douchebag about that and go, yeah, hey, really? Millions of chicks for me? Yeah, fuck it. Do this, do that, slave. Yeah. And then you'll quickly be like, for millions to like two. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's not about being a douche about that. It's about respecting that options and we have options and stuff. Not being a douche about it, not abusing our power, but just going, okay, that's the deal. Now I'll embrace that and I'll select by hand the women I want to be with, you know, who, who I want in my life and how they're going to operate and rules. And from the get go, this is how it is. If you like it, great. If you don't, you're welcome to leave anytime. When you have that little confidence, because you know you have options, women love that. Women get fucking, women get horny for that. Right? They don't, women don't get horny for guys who don't have options or guys who don't think they have options. Women get dry for that. They hang around. They, if they're super horny, they might bang, but they're looking for better options. As soon as better option comes along, <laughs> hypergamy's coming over, monkey branch, see you later. Simple as that. Women are as faithful as their options allow. Simple as that. Don't hate the game. Don't hate the player. Don't hate any of it. Just understand that's just how it fucking is. Just like men, we like, you know, young girl, women, ascetic, athletic, peaceful, feminine, summer dress. You know, she can be four foot five. She can be six foot five. We say, wow, she's cool. Women are more fussy on their physical preferences. And they're more fussy on their character preferences, etc. So if you put the work in, guys... You know, you can't change your height. I mean, you can wear the shoes, but you know what I'm saying? You can change the height and your attitude. Okay, you can, you can change the altitude of your attitude. That, you know, that makes up for a lot of things. So it's just, that's just how it is. And the more work you put into yourself as a guy, the more quality women you're going to meet, and the more experience you're going to get, and women prefer guys with experience. Simple as that. So there you go, guys. River wrap up. For more information, join my coaching group. But end of the day, women don't care about how you feel. They only care about how they feel and what you can provide for them. So if you want to have a lot of women in your life or quality women in your life, get busy understanding how you can make them feel good, <laughs> emotionally, physically, and what can you provide for them. Don't give them money unless they're prostitutes and you're cool with that and there's nothing wrong with being a prostitute. But giving girls money, they won't really respect you. You can give them a place to stay. You can give them tips and hints and you know things like that. You give them food. But don't give them money. All right? Don't buy them Gucci shit or whatever. They're just prostitutes and that's okay. But those chicks, you know, do you really want those dopey life? You know, there's so many quality chicks out there. You want just like a handbag basic chick? I mean, do that if you want. I mean, if that's what you want, then go with that. They're a dime a dozen. But, you know, quality chicks out there who are into the good shit, you know, they're the ones I like anyway. Anyway, that's the deal. Uh, don't take it personally, man. All right? So many guys, guys end themselves because of this shit. Just literally, guys end themselves. Oh my God, she... Got the new guy straight away. Or they'll be banging for six months. You know. It's like, dude, that's, okay, there's millions of them are out there. All right, next. It's okay. All right? It's okay, mate. <laughs> Let it be. It's just like, damn, there's, this, there's, there's no shortage of amazing women out there. All right? You just have to put the work in there as a guy to understand that and to create the environment that these women want to go into. Women just, man, if you can, if you can make them feel good and you can provide for them, I'm not talking money, just provide for them, place to stay, security, things like that. Man, they're fucking gonna worship that shit, okay? Gonna worship that shit. If you know, you know.